Good morning, everyone. I'm Rebecca, and this is the Wellness Wake Up on Wednesday. A very happy Saint Jean to you all. I am the Community Outreach Coordinator for Connections Resource Center, and today we have a very special opportunity. I'd love to be able to share with you some story. Now, normally uh, around this time of the week, we do a Mythbuster, but it's a holiday and I thought let's change it up a little bit so that's what we're going to do this week and um, in particular I want to be talking about um, well this whole week we've been talking about the value of seniors as caregivers but particularly the value of them as caregivers of other seniors so today we're going to shift slightly just a little bit to include the concept of seniors as key caregivers also not only for other seniors but also for children and that often is the case when you have a grandparent who is a caregiver for a child um, and we have recognized i think particularly during this period of covid um, and social distancing that that core relationship between grandparents and grandchildren is um, it's a very strong connection and when we were asked to become socially distant from our grandparents and our children were asked to become socially distant from their grandparents we felt a very strong sense of loss and the way in which I fully recognize that was when uh, we were able to expand our bubble a little bit to include other individuals of course, the first people that my children wanted to see were their grandparents. So uh, just a shout out to grandparents on this beautiful Saint-Jean. It's uh, overcast, but my goodness, that's a beautiful breeze coming in through the window. So I'm grateful for that today. And I just want to talk a little bit before we get to our story, which you can see is in the background over here. Hello! If you're watching, please do say hi. It's always nice to see comments. Um, while I'm giving a live, I feel sometimes very alone, so it's great to know you're here. Nat is here. Hi, Nat. It's great to see you. So, yeah, I just want to speak today about the particularly um, strong attachments that uh, can be formed between seniors and children. So, um, I think we have seen now that the studies are pretty much universal in this notion that there is a very mutually beneficial relationship that happens when seniors interact with young children. And that the nature of that um, benefit is twofold. So the first is of a mental health nature. There's just a sense of um, joy that seems to come from the connections between seniors and young children. And not only that, but we see that grandparents who have a role to play with caring for their grandchildren or seniors who have a role in caring for younger children, not only do they have that mental stimulus of joy that they get, but also there is increased mobility because little kids are notoriously busy people. And so grandparents have to be on their toes to keep up with them, which increases that mobility, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing for so many seniors who find themselves beginning to lose some, um, some mobility as they age. So there is that. And in fact, we have been seeing a new trend in preschooling and in long-term care. Good morning, mom. There's my, speaking of grandmothers, there's my mom. How nice is that? Um, we're talking about the value, mom, of you <laughs> of grandparents in the lives of little ones so this is perfect i'm glad you're watching um what we're noticing sorry a quick trend that we have been seeing that has been on a real upswing between preschools and long-term care facilities where what is happening is preschools are opening up and renting space in long-term care facilities why because they are seeing the impact of learning that it is having on both the residents of the long-term care facilities and also the uh the learning um of those of those preschool kids 
there is a wisdom that seems to be able to be passed in both directions there. So you've got um, seniors being able to share their knowledge and skills with these younger age set and with that younger generation. But at the same time, that younger generation being able to inform seniors either in technology or just in worldview, you know, in that sense of wonder that um, children seem to always have. And so by being able to translate that into these residences, there has been an incredibly beautiful synergy that seems to be coming out of that. So I'm going to post later today uh, on this um, on this live some links to examples of those kinds of care centers that have been opening up. And then also just a link to this idea of the value of uh, uh, grandparents who are able to spend time with grandchildren and how valuable that is for the children. But also, hopefully, and you know, mom can, mom can let me know here, uh, for the generation above us as parents. So today I want to read to you a story that uh, we love in this house. It is called Llama Llama, Gram and Grandpa, and it's a story about uh, a llama who goes to sleep over at his grandparents' house, which we had that wonderful opportunity earlier or last weekend. The kids went over to spend time with Graham and in our case it's not Grandpa, it's Gumpy. Uh, so with Graham and Gumpy and they had a wonderful time from what I understand and I'm hoping and mom you can say right now if you wish it's live. <laughs> uh, I think my parents had a good time too. So we're gonna read that story now. I'm gonna set us up for success. Two seconds here, I'm gonna turn the camera around. You are looking at white space, but not for long. Give me two seconds. All right. So. Llama Llama Graham and Grandpa by Anne Dudney. Llama Llama. Graham and Grandpa. Llama, llama, big, big day. It's a first, a special stay. Pack up clothes and PJs tight. Llama's going overnight. Who will take good care of Llama? Llama Llama's Gram and Grandpa. Bag and Fuzzy in the car. Buckle up, the drive seems far. Hugs and kisses, big hellos. Mama loves you, off she goes. glass of milk, a yummy snack. Now it's time to go unpack. Mama's picture in a frame, different, also just the same. Take out socks and pants and book, put the jammies on the hook. Feeling strange away from Mama. Oh no, where is Fuzzy Llama? Llama dear, are you okay? Llama doesn't want to say. says, let's go outside. Climb on up. Pretend to ride. 
tractor, gardens, grass to mow. Llama's having fun, but oh, Fuzzy is still left at home. Maybe Fuzzy feels alone? Grandpa's workshop, lots to do, wood and hammers, nail and glue. Llama makes a little chair. It's for Fuzzy, who's not there. Time for dinner. Help get ready. Carry dishes, hold them steady. Grandma's house has different food. Something squishy, something stewed. Llama tries it, and it's good. Would you like more? Llama would. <laughs> Dinner's over. Time for bed. Llama wants to wait instead. Grandpa says, let's see the stars. Nighttime shows us where they are. Take a bath, then comb and brush. Settle in for stories. Hush. Finish books and get a kiss. Llama dear, now what is this? Llama's lips begin to quiver. Llama starts to shake and shiver. Llama needs his fuzzy near. Fuzzy Llama isn't here. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Stay right here. Grandpa leaves. Then Ray. When Grandpa was a little boy, he also had a special toy. Big or little, young or old, a llama needs someone to hold. A grandma kiss, a grandpa hug, feeling cozy, settled, snug. Llama Llama's not alone. This is home. Away from home. For grandparents everywhere and the little llamas who love them. Thank you all for tuning in today and thank you for joining us with this book. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned tomorrow for more excellent programming on Connections Resource Center Facebook page. We'll be doing more interviewing about caregivers um, and particularly senior caregivers who are caring for seniors. Take care and happy Saint-Jean.